In this video, I will be answering all of your questions about the Red Dragon M601, drag clicking problems, software issues, and even how you mod the M601 for it to drag 30 CPS. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm really trying to get monetized so I could get myself a PC and I don't have to use this MacBook. So if you could just get this for me, then that would be very good. Okay, all things aside, I will be answering questions that are very direct. I've been getting a lot of questions like, the, does the Red Dragon M602 drag click? Does the Red Dragon M6 something, some other Red Dragon mouse drag click? I mean, it should be pretty much common sense that if I don't own the mouse, then I probably don't know how, if it can drag click or not. Another common question I've been asked was, is the M711 better than the M601? In short, the answer is no. The M711 can short drag pretty well, but it's absolutely trash at long dragging. Unlike this beast right here, which could pretty much long drag click over 30 CPS. So yeah, that's... How is your mouse able to double click and drag 30 CPS? Like, more than 30 CPS when mine is like getting 12 CPS drag clicking and I can't even double click. In short, you're probably just not doing it correctly. Also, giving you guys an update, I've seen some cases where the Red Dragon M601 RGB version can also drag click. And apparently for the people who cannot drag click, this is officially confirmed as a drag clicking mouse. So if you have it, you're in good luck. When you're drag clicking or double clicking, this mouse has a completely different feel to the Kane, the Kane 100. For the Kane 100, you just kind of have to glide your finger over it and it already gives you the CPS that you want. But that's not the case for the Red Dragon M601. You, instead of just, if you just glide your finger over it, It'll make that sound, but it's not clicking. But if you click too hard on it, it'll just make that sound and register like 2 CPS. Now, one way to know or how to find that perfect pressure is to kind of go from really light, a little bit harder, a little bit harder, until you just don't click it. After you just carefully take those steps down, using the pad of your finger, not the tip, don't do this for dragging, that's not called drag clicking. You just want to be able to slowly drag your finger across the top of the mouse until you get that desired uh, pressure. And remember, as I said in the video before, you want to start a little bit harder over here and go lighter over here in order to get the maximum surface area for drag clicking. Bro, you're using tape. I thought you told me not to use tape. and. Does tape work with the Red Dragon M601? No, don't use tape. The only reason I put tape is to show you the difference between me with tape and without tape. Oh, just regular dragging with this mouse because if you look closely, this mouse is pretty um, rough in the surface. It's not smooth or glossy, it's very rough. So when you drag click, you don't even need any tape. And just looking at my computer, without tape, this is without tape, I'm able to just like, I'm able to just easily get like 20 CPS or some, something like that right now. I, I'm not going to try to get 30 CPS right now. Um, but as for this one, I can't even get over 10 CPS. Now that shows you the difference between no tape versus tape. So do not use tape on this mouse. For the software, I would be just going over like what to put on it. The thing is, in the software, I don't have it with me because I use a MacBook and I don't need a software to drag click. But if you're really fixated on trying to look for that perfect DPI, which you don't really need, you could just put on the lowest one. If you're really fixated on it, I will attach the .exe program for the Red Dragon M601 RGB mouse and the Red Dragon M601 uh, three mouse, which is just the red color, no change in color. Double click time in reality doesn't necessarily mean that your mouse will click faster, but it is a program that might or might not help. The, nothing has been proven yet, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't do anything to your mouse. For me, I haven't even touched the software with this mouse and it's easily able to drag 30 CPS. So don't even worry about putting the 
double click speed to 1 or 10 as there is no debounce time setting on this mouse. Okay, so what kind of texture should my hand be for it to drag click 30 CPS like you did? Well, the thing is, this can't really con consistently drag click 30 CPS if you don't have the right textures on your hand or the mouse. My mouse is not exactly clean right now and the most CPS I could get out of it is like maybe not even over 20. So this is how you should clean the mouse. One way I clean the mouse is using this eraser clay. This eraser clay doesn't necessarily leave residue but it's extremely sticky and it also absorbs a lot of oils that will reduce the friction on the mouse. As you can see, I've been using this mouse for a little bit, so it's a little dirty. All I have to do is just grab clay and uh, just stick it on there. Uh, let me see. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. It's quite difficult. And so once you keep it on there, everything's stuck on properly. You could just go ahead and tape it, take it off, get all the other access. Uh, Access clay. Now it should be pretty much ready to drag. So when it drags 30 CPS, you should already be able to hear the difference. So yeah, um, as you guys can see, I dragged 30 CPS right there, so that's proving that this method works. Also, instead of using this, what you can use is just regular tape, and instead of rubbing off of it, instead of rubbing it and leaving the residue off, that will actually decrease the CPS. Just stick it and unstick it. Don't even put that much pressure, and do the same thing again. Now, if you're still not able to get the CPS that you want, then there is a more technical way to approach it. Now, when you first receive the mouse, just like any other mouse, even like this Rawcat Cane 100, the clicks on this mouse are probably not broken in. One way to fix this is by just like abusing your mouse literally, or you could do this. First, start off by pressing at the back, and then lift up on the mouse. Now you can see that this part has been taken out and it should look like this after doing that you want to kind of just make the mouse a little more flexible don't put too much force on it because you will break it and you don't want that to happen but right now what you're trying to do is just get just reduce the tension of the mouse and if you want to put it back in you just place it back in and it should be as good as new and now you should be able to drag click way better than before There you go. This is too cheap. Like, it's not even registering any of my short drags. I don't even think you could god bridge with it. In fact, you only need 6 DPS to god bridge, so don't make any excuses that the mouse is not being good. You probably just need more practice. Anyway, when I short drag on this mouse, I get around like 14 to 15 CPS. And that's me just like, just, con just dragging over it. And now I'll be showing you guys a few clips of me god bridging with this mouse. Also, don't judge my gaming setup, it's because I don't have money. So just pressing a like button, or maybe even subscribing, would help me out a lot from getting this to something else. <laughs> Thanks guys. want to learn how to do other clicking methods precisely about this mouse, go check out my other videos, link in the description.